everybody, Frogman here. Uh, going to watch through Lucio Alpha gameplay for you guys. Um, he's really fun in the watch too, and I'm just going to say it now. He's probably one of the best characters in the game. Not just best support, best character. Uh, he's so valuable to a team comp, and you can be super aggressive and get away with a lot of stuff now because there's just no stuns. Um, if you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask my Discord, uh, Twitch, or uh, yeah, whatever. And feel free to subscribe because I will be uploading a bunch of Overwatch 2 content. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Frogman. Welcome to Overwatch 2 Alpha. Uh, yeah, so welcome. Uh, today we're playing some Lucio, the Frog Boy. I'm giving you guys some juicy uh, Lucio gameplay for Overwatch 2. And we're playing Push. I've been trying to get one of the Push maps uh, all day, and I finally got it. Um, so far, Lucio hasn't gotten uh, any changes uh, so far. He's only gotten this uh, ult charge reduction. And I will say, he does build ult really quickly if you're consistent with damage and healing. Like, it is... 10 times faster than what it was on on live if it feels it feels like you know um and you know despite the fact no changes he's really fun and that's because where is this sombra it's because there's like no stuns and no watch too and i feel like i can play much more aggressive and get a lot more value out of uh lucio because you know it's more so just uh whoever has better aim kind of wins sometimes or whoever can move better all that stuff i'm gonna get this hana here Oh, 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 oh. No, give me the free game. Yeah. Yeah. He's a monster. But this is a uh, push. Uh, you push a robot. Uh, only one person can push it, like, for, like, additional space. It's not like payload where it heals you or, um, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Um, like, if more people are on it, it goes faster. It's always the same speed no matter what. Uh, it is pretty slow, but, you know, at the same time, if you just push non-stop, I feel like these games can go for pretty much, like, two minutes top. Which is kind of crazy, thinking that you could be in, like, a five-minute queue for a competitive game, and the game could only go for two minutes. Which is, uh, kind of nuts. It's, uh, it's only a one-round thing, too. It's not like, uh, you know, you play three times or anything like that. But I will say, out of, uh, you know, all the maps, modes, push is really, really fun. It's a nice change of pace from, uh, King of the Hill, 2CP, Payload, all that. It's very different. Because the maps are the same on each side. If, if, does that make sense? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna kill the Zen here. Uh, it's gonna be sick. I'm not, actually not gonna kill the Zen here. I'm actually. Oh, oh I'm dead. <laughs> oh, so that's the um, the new uh, cast flashbang. You no longer has the stun, and instead it has like a homing grenade that does. I think it's like 100 damage. That might change though when uh, the beta comes out. But it's pretty scary because uh, it's pretty easy to land, I feel like. Oh, no. It's pretty easy to land, I feel like. And, oh my goodness. You just need decent movement uh, in a 1v1. You're just going to make sure the cast actually misses the grenade. Because if he hits one shot on you and then, you know, hits you with a grenade, you're almost dead. Oh my god, it's the new Orissa roll. Yeah, so Orissa's massively changed as well. She no longer has shield. She's a full-on just machine. Just, it's, it's terrifying. Um, she's actually one of the most scariest tanks to play against right next to Doomfist, which I do want to talk a bit more about Doomfist, but uh, hopefully maybe in another video or like maybe later in this video. I don't know. Um, oh man, arissa has got like a javelin now. She's got this spear thingy. It's just absolutely insane. She's really scary. Hey, a soldier. Soldier, let me say hello to you. Goodbye. She's dead. I'm going to beat here and my... My Arissa dies. Uh, okay. Hey, I'm just one dude. Uh, I forced the trance. That's pretty big. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's a ping system as well. I can ping stuff. My team will see it. They'll be like, oh my god, look at that target. Let's shoot at them. It's great. Oh, oh we're going for a cheeky 1v1. Oh, no. Get away from me. I don't want to get too close to him because, like, it's, it's scary. He's good up close and then far away now. Oh, can I... Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. I mean, there's like the support change now where like, uh, you heal up really quickly if you take damage. No, if you don't take damage for a couple seconds. Sorry, there's so much to talk about and I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. Because, man, there, there's a lot to talk about. And I'm having a lot of fun. You know, I'm actually enjoying this, uh... The alpha a lot. It feels like a really big change of pace. It feels very fresh. I, I would honestly just say I'm enjoying it a lot more because there's just less stuns. Like, you know? Less stuns is just... It's so nice. 
And maybe because maybe they're not playing against double shield all the time, I think that's great. It is kind of weird, like, having one less tank. The amount of times I've been like, yo, that combo would be sick with, like, Zarya, and I'm talking about, like, another tank, and then I realize, oh, wait, we can't run two tanks, which is, it's kind of sad. Um, but 5v5, I think it's, like, one of those things that, uh, for, the, for you watching or the community, it's, like, one of those things you need to, like, try to see how you feel about it. I think it's really hard to just be like, oh, yeah, you know, you don't like it just, you know, straight away. I think it's more so something that uh, will take a while to get used to, used to for some players, um, and it might be good in the long run. I'm not really sure, but uh, I like it. I like it, you know. I, I prefer it. Maybe that's because I'm not a tank player, so I don't know how it feels. Uh, I'm like a support player, so, <laughs> you know. Oh! Ooh. You missed your- Where are you? Uh, I'm a- uh. <laughs> It honestly just feels great to run around on Lucio and then not get uh, stunned and you know, non-stop. It really is great. Uh, and I, I'm, j I'm just having a good time. But, um, I'm still gonna make videos on Bastion, and Bastion's actually been the character I've been playing a lot more. Uh, I'm dead. Ah! Yeah, so, as you can see there, it homes in, like, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy how, like, good it homes in. And it does an insane amount of damage. I think it's more damage if it sticks. Um... Who's in the car right now? I can kill this guy. Okay. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. You know what? Screw it. I'm feeding. Is this toxic? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'm out! No! <laughs> but I do think for like Lucio and Overwatch 2, I think the flanking like playstyle, like just going to kill people, is pretty valuable. Like you can do a lot of it. I feel like you can definitely climb really high if it's like, uh, you know, you just come out of nowhere and just kill people. Am I dead? Yeah, but you guys can see like over time the healing uh, is like a lot quicker. When you're gonna take damage for, I think it, I think it's like two or three seconds. I'm not sure. It's crazy. And here we are pushing to the end. But basically, to win push, it's either you push to the end or whoever gets the most distance by the end wins. If uh, you're on like the least less less distance, sorry. Jesus Christ, that's a noted fashion. Ah! Ah! Get me out of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Oh, there's a death barrier there. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so if you have like less distance on uh, the robot, I think his name's Bob or something. No, not Bob. I, I forget what his name is. Uh, I'm going to call him Terry. Um, but if you have less distance, you go into overtime and you pretty much have to push all the way uh, to the uh, max distance before the enemy team. Whatever the distance uh, your team's at. Sorry, I'm explaining this so terribly. But hopefully, you understand what I mean. They haven't even, like, pushed past the meter. I feel bad. Am I being toxic? Wait, it's a new Bastion ult. Well, there's a new Bastion ult. <laughs> Get away from my robot. Yeah. Alright. Good game. Alrighty. So, this is Colosseo, um, or Rome. It's beautiful. Look at this. Uh, here's a guy, another guy, another guy. I gotta say, with, like, a lot of the new maps, there's some really cool details on them. I've explored them in custom games, and there's just some really nice stuff about them. Uh, but this is Push. This is one of the Push maps, which, uh, I think was showed on, like, Overwatch League uh, a couple months ago. It's really nice. There's a lot of cool stuff about the map. Um... I like it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I just feel like there's a lot to talk about, and I'm not really used to just, like, talking about video games, you know? I feel like an absolute dork. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about Doomfist's tank. Scariest tank I've ever seen in my entire life. He actually kind of, like, lives up to how he is in the cinematics, where he just goes, Hello! God, I feel bad for Zenyatta. Um, pretty much Doomfist is a crowd control dude. Pretty much Doomfist just has, I think, a slow... And a longer stun on his punch if it gets supercharged. What's the supercharge, you ask? Okay, so when uh, Doomfist like blocks uh, uh, 100 damage, like he no longer has his uppercut, so he has like a block now. He blocks like 90% damage, 
uh, for like two seconds, three seconds, not sure. Um, and if you block n like 100 damage, you get super charge punch, which can stun people for like a crazy amount. It does uh, extra damage. It's pretty crazy. It's not like one shot, like there's no more one shot on the Doomfist, which, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be so happy to hear that. Um, I just think Doomfist is now like this tank that's pretty much about creating space rather than creating space by like feeding. So that's pretty- Hey! Yeah, so Doomfist is a tank. It's pretty- it's pretty crazy. Bye bye. I feel like there's a lot to talk about and I- I do apologize if like I'm being really like annoying with like everything I'm talking about. I do want to try and like summarize things like super quickly but at the same time there's so much. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of I'm kind of like trying to think of some stuff. Uh, May no longer freezes with a left click. She does a lot of damage. I think people like that was pretty public information. Like people knew that already. Um, Sombra's hack is very different now. It doesn't like cancel your abilities for like a crazy amount of time. It just stops it for like a second I think. As you can see there it was like I I'm not sure. Um, you know it's only for like a second or so. Uh, I'm gonna work on the ice cream shop. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> How dare you ruin my ice cream adventure? <laughs> yeah, but the summer damage is crazy when she hacks someone because I think it's like 40% uh, additional damage if you hack a target, and then EMP also takes 40% of people's max uh, HP or whatever HP they're at. Um, yeah, I think it's just 40% uh, of their health. So it's kind of like Sigma ult. So I think a Sigma like plus Sombra ult combo would kind of be dead. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Sigma Summer is going to be like a pretty cool duo. I will say the push game mode is very much uh, back and forth. It's just like a lot of the times it can just be pushing one side and then another team wins the fight and then they start pushing and then next team starts pushing. And uh, you know, it's, pre it's pretty good. I'm very curious to see how it is and how people if people like it or not nice. right, let me show you how crazy the flanks get on this map you can as lucio you can just go all the way around here and be like hey fellas what's going on oh hey oh uh, uh. ah. oh but then i can just flank around here <laughs> look at my boy go he's zooming yeah, so I think a lot of people were probably worried like how long it would take from going one side of the back And I'm pretty sure they just buffed uh, the robot like walking distance when he's not actually pushing it. Oh my god. He's a beast This good gives no shits Go! Absolute legend. I don't- I, I think there's an actual name for him. Uh, I think someone said Tim. I don't know, I'm just gonna call him... Uh, guy. Uh, I got you! Yeah, so now we're in overtime, so we have to pretty much get uh, another like 10 meters. We have to get past 85 meters. Uh, you know, it's it, like the time it goes for like is crazy. But as soon as like the enemy team pretty much takes it, like we instantly lose pretty much. So it is quite a lot of pressure. Um, I feel like we can win, hopefully. I don't want to like C9, you know? But I. Ah! No, I almost got a boop. Wait, did we win? Victory. Yeah! I thought we C9. I got so scared. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the uh, Overwatch 2 Lucio gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I gotta say, Lucio is gonna be a really fun support. Um, I am kind of bummed out that he didn't get, like, any, you know, like, changes. Just an old charge change. And I was kind of, like, thinking, like, oh, they might change his boop or his speed or, like, maybe. But at the same time, maybe it's a good thing because uh, he's, he's pretty much a perfect character if you really think about it. Um, I'm excited to play this game in beta, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, Discord or my Twitch chat is the best place to ask me, 
And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe because I'll be making a bunch of Overwatch 2 content. Much love. Peace.